IgG4 related disease Immunoglobulin G4 related disease is a chronic immune mediated disorder that affects various organs at the same time It is an umbrella disease having various presentations or names included in it Now all of this may be difficult to understand until and unless you understand what exactly is immunoglobulin G and what its function is so what is immunoglobulin g let me first answer you as to what immunoglobulin is immunoglobulins in layman's term also refers to antibodies these are a type of proteins produced exclusively by our blood plasma cells when a bacteria or virus enters a body it releases a specific toxin or protein in our body this protein is also called as the antigen this antigen activates a type of our wbc cells called as the b cells which then instructs the plasma to produce the antigen specific antibody now antibodies or immunoglobulins works to specifically recognize the microorganism and to bind to the antigen of the bacteria and virus so as to kill it there are five major types of immunoglobulins namely IgM IgG IgA IgD and IgE which varies in structure and slightly in their function Since we are dealing only with IgG4 related disease let's skip the other immunoglobulins for now So coming to IgG it is the most extensive immunoglobulin present in the blood circulation It kills the pathogen entering the body through various mechanisms and also activates a lot of immune pathways to eliminate the dead bodies of the pathogen It also remembers the pathogen that have previously entered the body and caused an infection. It helps in neutralizing the toxins produced by the infective organisms and plays an important role in hypersensitivity reactions. There are four subclasses of IgG which is IgG1, IgG2, IgG3 and IgG4. IgG4 is present in the least amount in the body and is commonly thought to have an inhibitory role in the process of anaphylaxis. It is also associated with autoimmunity and malignancy. Now in IgG4 related disease the IgG4 levels become high due to unknown reasons which leads to extensive damage to various organs as the immune system fights its own tissues here it causes fibrosis and an infiltrate rich in IgG4 positive plasma cells it also causes tissue destruction and organ enlargement with inflammation and deposition of connective tissues in the area of damage Thus the organ may dysfunction or organ failure may occur with the possibility of death if not treated immediately The most common organs affected by this disorder are meninges which are the layer of brain and spinal cord the orbits which are the bone around the eyes lacrimal glands or tear glands salivary gland thyroid lungs aorta kidneys pancreas and bile duct there are other organs affected as well but these are the most commonest one the signs and symptoms of this disorder thus vary widespread and yet usually seen in a mild form during diagnosis commonly the person suffering from this disorder visits the hospital for presence of a painless swelling or mass This masses may seem like cancer but on biopsy usually shows only inflammatory changes pain may develop due to severe compression or obstruction caused by the enlarged organs based on the organ system affected there will be more signs and symptoms specific to the organs but since this video is made precisely just to explain in brief what this disorder is 
I won't be covering the other signs and symptoms or syndromes related to this disorder. Remember, this disorder may affect only one organ at a time or may involve multiple organs at the same time and thus the symptoms will vary. Now let us discuss the diagnostic test for this disorder. The gold standard test for this disorder is the histological examination of the tissue taken from the affected organ. On examination of the tissue, you will see fibrosis and inflammatory changes in the tissue. Serum IgG levels must also be checked which are usually found elevated in this condition. Imaging tests like CT scan and MRI may be done to assess for organ involvement. IgG4 related disease is treated mainly with corticosteroids and B cell targeted therapy with rituximab. The treatment aims to reduce the inflammation and help in controlling and preventing further organ damage. Rituximab is given to reduce the levels of B cells which effectively helps in reducing the IgG4 levels. Since this disease is usually diagnosed at a later stage, a lot of damage to the organs have already occurred. IgG4 disease cannot be cured, but with early diagnosis and proper treatment, the patient can lead a good life.